Hi, it's Jen and my friend, the mouth. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of your sneaky sounds. Remember, when you have a sneaky sound in your mouth, you've gotta take it and you've gotta throw it away. So what's happening right now is you're stuck up here at the top of the mountain. And it's your job to figure out how you can walk down the mountain so you're not stuck anymore. That means learning how to say your sound correctly by itself, in syllables, in words, in sentences, until you can do your sound correctly all the time while you're talking to others. We're gonna talk about what you have to do with your lips and tongue to make the sound correctly. And if the sound is a type of explosion sound that comes out of your mouth quickly, or if it's a sound that you have to use a lot of air and hold it out while you say it. When you practice, I want you to look at yourself in a mirror. So that way you can pay attention to where your tongue is and what your lips are doing in your mouth and if it's not quite right, you gotta fix it. I also want you to think about using this scale when you're practicing. Uh, was your sound not even close? Then that means, uh-oh, stop and think about these elements again. Maybe you need to try making the sound again. Maybe you're getting closer. You're almost there or, yay, you've arrived. The sound is perfect. So while you're practicing, I want you to think about how you think you did with the sound. And I want someone in your house to also tell you how they think you did with the sound. We're gonna talk about the two types of sounds you can make when you see the letters T and H next to each other in a word. This is what we know. We have to put our tongue between our teeth like this so it peeks out and we have to hold out the sound. It's not an explosion type of sound. So it looks like this. Smile, open your teeth a little bit. Now peek your tongue out like that. That's what it looks like. So now that we know what it looks like, we know that there are two different ways that we can make the sound. For one of them, our voice is on, and for the other one, the voice is off. What do I mean by this? So let's go ahead and get in the ready position. Put your tongue between your teeth and take your hand and put it on your throat right here, and we're gonna go like this. All right, so we did three TH sounds. And I put my hand here and I didn't really feel any movement or vibration. Now we're gonna turn the voice on and it looks like this. Get your tongue ready in the right spot between your teeth and put your hand on your throat and go mm, mm, mm. And that time you should have felt some vibration in your throat. So the difference is no vibration and mm, vibration. That's the difference between the TH sound in the word like thanks and a word like that. One of them, your voice is off, and the other one, your voice is on. So sometimes you might have a sneaky sound, and as we know, if you have a sneaky sound, you're gonna take it and you're gonna throw it away. Sometimes you might put a sneaky F in your words with TH and say something like thanks instead of thanks, or you might put a sneaky D in there and say something like dis instead of this. So just make sure that your tongue peeks out between your teeth and don't bite down because you'll bite your tongue. So we are going to practice both types of TH sounds. We're going to make two fists like this and count all the way to 10 as we go. For that one, I didn't have my voice on. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to 10 with my voice on. Here I go. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Now it's your turn. I want you to make two fists and count to 10 doing the sound. And then when you're done, you're gonna do the same thing with the mm sound. Good luck. Go ahead and pause the video here and make your fists now.